Okay, uh, I'm gonna do this little uh, trail walk here. I usually do something that's, when I find something I think is interesting, I video, but today we're going to start down here, down the rabbit hole again. I like to refer a lot of feeling to the uh, Alice in Wonderland, but sometimes it seems like a plunge. Um, so here we go. Um, I was here in the summer, but it was so so humid and hot. Uh, this is kind of near a wetland. It's kind of uncomfortable to do a big walk in here. As you see, they posted some signs about the environment, animals and plants and such. And down under an arch. So, like I said, uh, usually don't do a just a plain old walking video going through a trail but in this case I I like this trail and uh, probably gonna do maybe three parts uh, this is the first part uh, yeah, I got here in between errands and so forth so and you know the name escapes me <laughs> right now the, the name of this uh, conservation area but uh, there's some office buildings that like a, you know, it's kind of a out of the way place. And uh, you're only 10 minutes walk from a, the end of a subway, Metro Red Line, Boston. So look at that, you know, you can, you can't imagine that places like this are so close. But there's a bumblebee. continue a bit. Uh, looking at the time going by, I say I might be doing more than three parts because I'd say it's at least a 20 minute walk or so, or more if you include the forest on the other end. Silver Maple Forest is kind of attached to this the same place but has a little bit of a different name and, uh, oh, I thought I saw a black butterfly in there yep it's, it's down there I can't zoom when this is recording so oh well so mid-september and the the light starts kind of coming in at a different angle, and it's, it's a nicer light, in my opinion, but... Demonstration site, okay. You can pause that and read it if you like. Woodcock, that's something... Uh, I saw a lot more as a kid where I grew up, and my, my father and you know, some of his buddies would hunt the woodcock. Seems to be a little bit of a side place here, I don't know. A little side path. Well. Well, last time I was here, there were rabbits in here eating. It's going to be a cool night. You can feel, um, you know, it's pleasant now, but it's got uh, a lot of dry air coming in Can't from Canada way, so it's going to cool down quite well, uh, probably 40s, which is nice. I'll stop at these every time. Yes, we have red and gray foxes right, right near, um, you know, pretty dense uh, living areas. So, it's funny. It doesn't seem as thick to me as it was. I guess that's that's kind of nice gothic looking tree 
It doesn't seem as thick as it was in the middle of the summer. I guess that's normal. Or maybe they almost looks like they cut it cut it up a little bit, or you know, they might have might have hacked away the edges. Well, hardy at five minutes. What? I'm not gonna rush. Just gonna let it. What's louder, the helicopter or the crickets? <laughs> Some nice moss seeds. Whatever. Some leaves that are already changing. Some dapple of red, crimson. Some of the leaves, I'm sure, tonight is going to give more, uh, cause more leaves to start start uh, coloring. Another bridge. It's nice that I'm not feeling any mosquitoes. It's kind of a dried up uh, gully. It's too bad I'm walking into the sun. So we have to keep it to the side like this or something. Oh. I think I'm going to end this pretty soon for the first part. Look around here. Always love the color of these. Whoa, hey. And bumblebee, yellow, purples. And... Yeah. A nice stretch here. Shadows. Okay, I think I'll end the first part right here and continue sometime uh, this month with the rest of the trail. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And you with the cattails. Um, see if I can get some actual ones. Not the picture. There you go.